Well, hello, YouTubers. This is Bob Hickman. It is so good to be back with you. Well, the letters have been coming in like crazy, and I promise you guys another messages from the spirit world. But before we get into that, give me just a moment and let me attune to the spirit world. Okay. My spirit guy Fletcher here. He says hi to all of you. Okay, my first letter tonight goes out to Snake Storm TV. Um, yes, you know, in regards to the issue around a move for you, it does look like you will be going out to Oregon. So, yes, um, I keep seeing this, though, closer to June. And interestingly, I want you to focus on working at a job that is connected somehow to an accounting firm or accounting department. I see you working with statistics. Now, that's not your long-term work, but I see that getting you over the hump initially, financially. So yes, it does look like June is where you want to go, okay? But uh, yeah, remember I told you, focus on something with accounting or statistics work. That's what I see you doing. It could be like, you know, calculating or tabulating surveys or, you know, doing statistical analysis, running reports, you know, for something like that. So anyways, hope that helps. Good luck. All right, next letter is J-L-O-M-J-M-6-7. Um, you know, uh, in regards to your, your sister, I do see improvement around her um, and her boyfriend. It's interesting because I pick up that both of them are in the middle of a career transition here over the next few months. And I'd like um, you to encourage your sister's boyfriend to look into the area of doing something with heating, uh, air conditioning, there's some work connected to something in that field that he would do very well in. And uh, as for your sister, I keep getting her going to school. So I feel like she's going to be going back to school and picking up some studies here. Could be some connection also with her with um, something with billing, studying medical billing, or some type of accounting work. Um, and I see her, you know, working from home actually. Um, but she'll have some schooling that will get her going in that direction. So um, also my spirit guide keeps saying, he says, talk to her about possibly studying cosmetology as well. So she's got a lot of options here, and I think she'll do a number of things here over the next few months. But uh, I see both of them being back on track financially. I think this is a year for improvement, okay? Hope that helps. Thanks for waiting. Okay, next letter. Uh, Easy Magic 94. Hi, thank you so much for your, your letter. Well, yes, I think that the Ouija board is a wonderful t communication device. And uh, if you wanted to uh, have better experiences with that, I would encourage you to pick up my book, Ouija Mysteries. And you can get that at Amazon.com or go to my website. Uh, and I'll have the links below. And you can um, order that from there as well. So, um you know, definitely, yeah, keep working with your spiritual connections. Um, I want you to work on raising the vibration, and in my book I teach how to do that. But, uh, you know, as long as you're entering into your Ouija board experiences with reverence and focus, it shouldn't be a problem, okay? Good luck with that. Let me know how it goes. All right, let's see. Matt J. List. Hi. You know, um... I'm getting work around you here, and I feel like you're soon going to be, it's going to be around in May here. Looks like there's a job opening, and I'm getting something connected to retail around you. Um, and I'd like you to look for something in the, in the area of like working at Best Buy or something with computer sales, because that's where you'd be really uh, good at that. And I see you actually a little later in the summer being asked to be an associate manager as well. So it does look like there's going to be improvement around you financially, okay? So yeah, look in those areas and uh, let me know what you find. Thanks so much. Okay, uh, next letter, CR Lee 55. Oh, no, sorry, CR Lee SS. I don't know if that's careless or creelies, curlies. CR Lee SS. Okay. Um, you know, I see around you, um, yeah, you said you wanted to do a move, but I would hold off on that till around July because what they show me is that if you can wait till July, the economic factors around that move pick up. And I see you 
of going into a job literally like as soon as you get there. Um, and it's interesting because the work is connected to somehow to uh, websites. It could be like a company that designs websites, website development, something like that. And I see you working with the technology related to websites. Um, you know, but it does look like July is the best time to do that move. And I see the work opening up around then. Okay? Thanks for writing. All right, next letter. Um, Scarlet Red Rose. Wow, you know, you've been doing a lot of um, spiritual development here over the last few months. And I get St. Joseph around you. Uh, he's one of your spirit guides. And it's interesting because my spirit guide, Al Fletcher, also says, he says, this has been, the last year has been all about transition for you. And it's interesting because as we go through the rest of 2011, I see you really being in a stronger place emotionally. And I feel there's been a lot of emotional healing that's taken place here. And interesting, I'm getting some sort of change here in the school areas. I don't know if you're changing schools or something, but I do feel like you're going to be um, dealing with schooling change issues. But this looks very positive. All right? Thanks for writing. Okay, next letter. War Face 66. You know, you got power in those hands. You got you do have healing hands. Um, and you've got spirit guides around you that are opening you. Um, Saint Germain is an ascended master, and I get his presence around you. So I do feel he's coming in to work with you as well. So that experience of all that power flying out of your hands, it is real. I'm um, nothing to be afraid of, but it's that the chakras in the palms of the hands, there are chakras. And your chakras are, so when you sense kind of like a circle of energy, that's like light coming out from the chakra. So that's actually a good thing. So uh, don't worry, but St. Germain's working with you, and I want you to keep working on that healing. I'm seeing studies for you throughout the summer here, okay? Yes, and healing. So um, I want you to keep working on Reiki, and also I want you to explore, um, you know, there's other healing disciplines. I'm working with channeling as well. You need to study all the chakras, okay? But you've definitely got some healing mojo going on. Thanks for waiting. All right, next letter, uh, Foxy Flyby. Hello, dear. Um, well, first of all, let me tell you, as a professional psychic, I can't really read for myself. I never see my own future. Um, and most psychics don't. So even though you're a psychic person and you don't see for yourself, that's not a sign of being a bad psychic. It just this is the way it is. Because if we see for ourselves, you see, we, we would skip out on all the hard parts of our chart. So we have to go through everything that everybody else does. So that's not bad. But you know, i got to tell you, around beginning of June here is where I'm getting improvement around you. And it does look like, you know, you're starting into a better place of emotional balance also. Um, and I feel like there may be some um, changes coming here in the relationship area around you in June. Looks like kind of a new energy is around you. Could be even a new relationship. All right, thanks for writing. All right, uh, let's see here. I love Phoenix 2011. You know, I went to Phoenix once. It's a great town. Um, you know, first of all, let me tell you, um, you're not off your spirit chart, okay? Sometimes when we go through hard times, we think, oh, am I following God? Am I in touch with my chart? Just because you're having a hard time doesn't mean you're off your chart. It means you're taking on challenges on your chart. And I feel like right now you're in a little bit of a challenging time. But I do feel as we get to around the uh, beginning of June, that energy starts to shift to be more positive for you. Um, and I've got around you, um, um, there's a Dominican monk. His name is Brother Andre. I believe he lived in France in the 1700s. He's one of your spirit guides. His name is Brother Andre. Um, he's connected to the Dominican order. So you might want to look up Dominicans. Okay. Good luck. Thanks for writing. All right. Let's see here. We've got next letters. Apple Goblin. Hi. Um, you know, as far as leukemia around your friend, I, I'm not picking that up. I just don't get that. Um, I think what's happening is that their body system is coming into a place of healing. And what's happening is they've been sick for so long that a normal body feels abnormal. So I think that they're 
they're seeing themselves thinking, well, I can't be normal because they forgot what normal feels like. Um, I would like them to keep working with their doctor, though, of course, you know. And, uh, you know, they could definitely be checked for leukemia, and I would encourage that if they think there's an issue, but I'm just not seeing it around them. Um, but the thing that does have me a little concerned is I feel that this friend is on some sort of medicine from the previous cancer bouts, um, which they should be taking their medicine, but there's some sort of, their body's not reacting well, that medicine, and I'd like them to revisit with their doctor um, that situation, because I almost feel like the medicine is too powerful and it may be a little toxic for them. So it may be time to revisit their dosage in that, that area. But uh, I don't see leukemia. Okay. Thanks for writing. Next letter. Um, let's see here. Dialga 22. Um, you know, around you I keep getting an angel, and it looks like the name of this angel uh, is Marnell. And Marnell is working with you because you've been coming through a very stressful time lately. And your spirit guide is helping you to kind of stay on course, you know, because you've got to keep going with schooling. Because somebody's been trying to, like, get you to skip school or drop out, and that's not the answer. But your guide is Marnell. Now, you wrote also here in your letter um, questions about sexuality and your sexual identity. Um, well, you know, first of all, you're young and you don't have to decide right now if you're gay or you're straight. Just be open to being who you are, honestly. Uh, if you have an attraction for, for males, then you have an attraction for males. If you have an attraction for females, then you have an attraction for females. And uh, don't let anybody condemn you for how you feel. It's just natural to who you are. Now, are you gay or are you straight? I'm not going to say because I feel like right now spirit is still opening you to a lot of changes, a lot of realities. So you don't have to define that. You don't have to put yourself in a box. Just be open to who you are, and in time you'll know who you are. Okay? Thanks for writing. Okay. Uh, next letter here. Flas. Um, well, first of all, let me say I'm so sorry about the loss of your friend. Um, I do pick up he's in the summer land. He's crossed over into the light. They show me that around him at the time of death, he was very, very tired. There's a lot of weakness around him. And I feel like right now, he's really resting. He's really recharging in the spirit world. And this is why you have not heard from him. I do pick up that as we get towards the later part of summer here, around August, it looks like you'll be hearing from him. And they're telling me that he had this obsession with watching the moon rise. Um, and so you might want to go out and try to work on watching moon rises because I feel that's where you'll connect with him. And he had this um, fascination with the flowering trees because they show him looking at the flowers on the trees. And, and you know, when spring, he loved that. So he loves spring uh, this time of year. So he's, uh, he is resting in the summerland and he's at peace. And you'll be hearing from him, okay? Not to worry. Thanks for writing. Okay, next letter, Dark Mistress 086. Um, you know, I do feel that the dreams around you are past life flashbacks. Now, what's interesting is one of your past lives was in ancient Babylonia. And this is why it seems strange, because um, you're connecting it with ancient Egypt, but you are worshipping Anubis, or Anubis, however you say it, the god Anubis, but you lived in Babylonia. So that's why things seem disjointed in that. Um, you had, you have a guide around you who was a teacher from that life. And his name is Ba'el. And Ba'el was a, a priest in ancient Babylonia. And he works with you now. And he's helping you to reconnect to your past lives. Okay? So, anyways, yes. And my spirit guide Fletcher says also, he says, she says, okay. Fletcher says that Rose is here. Okay, and Rose is asking me to tell you she's coming to work with you. And it looks like there's some emotional healing coming to you. And there'll be some improvement here in the family situation. Okay, so Rose, my spirit guy, is going to help you with that. Okay, thanks for writing. 
Okay, next letter, Josh Van Wettering. Um, you know, uh, I pick up around you here, things are going to start to get better. Um, and I want you to watch here because as we go over the next month here, uh, through April into May, I feel like there's going to be greater peace around you, a little more happiness. I don't see the stress returning like it's been. Now, in regards to that girlfriend situation, um, I have to tell you, um, I think that's, um, that's probably at a standstill, going to stay there. But what's interesting is as we get into the end of May, I pick up somebody else entering your life. So there may be a new connection here. And it's funny because you're at somebody's house and there's like a pool party of some sort. And I feel like you meet a girl there. Um, she has long hair. It's kind of dark, very thin, beautiful eyes, brown, big brown eyes around her. She's a pretty girl. Um, and she's about your age. So uh, I do see a connection being made. The, the name around it, I believe, has an L in it, like Lisa or Leanne. But I do see a connection being made around the end of May. So I think there's somebody new coming in here, okay? So don't worry. Things aren't going to get any worse. They're going to get better, okay? Thanks for writing. Well, goodness, guys, I, that's all I'm going to get to today. But I'm so glad you're here, and uh, thank you for all your letters. Thank you for your wonderful support. Keep watching. We've got more videos coming in the next few days. We're going to have some herbal magics and some more spiritual walks and all sort of fun stuff and more about the RIP files, too. So, anyways, keep it here at Spirit Channel, and next week, you know, we'll have another Messages from the Spirit World.